Homesteading. I'm working on my 05 Honda Odyssey. I broke off the coil in the head and the last couple days I've been chipping at it and I finally got down to the spark plug. I took the spark plug out and the spark plug hole was damaged. Uh, the threads were damaged on it. That really threw me for a loop. I was a little bit upset about the whole thing and this morning I went and talked to a friend of mine. He's a mechanic. He said that happens all the time. So he had a save a thread it's made by a stanley corporation and it's a helicoil but it's made specifically to fix damaged spark plug holes so it's got a tapered so this is the original thread this is the thread that screws in and makes the new threads for the helicoil to fit in so this screws in and then this is your new threads again so it's a great idea and I really didn't even think you could do that. So this saved me a lot of time and a lot of money if this works. I haven't done this before so this will be the first time around for me. Uh, so you're going to see it anyways. We're going to see how it works. I haven't done much research so I don't know if there's other companies that make this thing. But this is made by Stanley and it's the Helicoil um, brand name. And it's Save a Thread. So it's 14 by 125, and it's specifically to go into aluminum heads. Uh, this one is the long reach. So if you have the long plugs, you need the long reach. If you got the short plugs, the short ones that only go up to here, uh, you only need the short reach. I got the long reach, and it perfectly fits the threads on the spark plug. So I unplugged all the coils, even the other side, and they told me just to roll it over a bit just try to pop out any stuff that's actually inside the cylinder the actual tap has a socket and it actually has a 3 8 end i'm going to use the 3 8 and stick it and stick it on an extension make sure that that piston is not at the very top uh, make sure you roll over the engine enough that it uh, will be farther down so the tap's not going to hit it when you tap the hole. Okay, she's going in good. I'm going to back it out a hair. And then start again. It just releases the little chunks. And it makes just a better cut. If anyone's used taps, if you go in straight and don't back up a bit and go, um, it can bind up. And I want to make sure that these make good threads. You can feel it cutting the threads. It's actually quite nice. I better wait till it's actually done, but. So I tightened it in and then brought it back a couple turns, tightened it in. Pulled back a couple turns, tightened it in, and then you kind of hit a spot where you know you're not cutting new threads. So you kind of know you're at the end. So I'm going to unscrew it and I'm going to see if it uh, fully went in. Screw it out. And pull it out. So we're going to blow out the inside of the cylinder a little bit, just with compressed air. Aluminum is a very soft metal, so it really shouldn't do much, but you want to get as much of it out as you can. So you get one of the spark plugs, you screw it all the way in. You get a little Loctite. You put it on the thread, so we stick it through here, into here, 
So I have a whole bunch of extensions. Okay. Now you just keep, keep it straight. Get it to start threading. Then get the socket and screw it in. Okay, and we tighten it up and we leave it. The spark plug is fixed. So there you go, I am super happy with it. That Save a Thread by Helicoil um, really saved me a lot of time and money. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna show you some clips of reassembling this. I'm gonna let you hear it run. Ah, look at that. When you get it the right way, it fits perfectly.